What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Music Mind Frame, coming to you live and direct. And you are now entering Vibe City. And if you haven't already subbed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, as we got some banging 2K content on our channel. But as for today, the topic of discussion is NBA 2K18 and what needs to change come its release. Let's hop into it. Now with NBA 2K18 releasing later this year, while the game is still in its alpha stages of development, some issues in regards to gameplay and others <laughs> should be discussed in hopes that they'll be actually removed and improved on once the game actually drops. Now for years, the main concern and complaint from gamers has been in relation to 2K servers and at times how bad they could be. Everything from in-game lag, being disconnected from the servers as a whole, or even being kicked back to your console's dashboard has been an issue. You would think with all the money 2K has made, <laughs> that their servers would be the least of their problems. But that does not appear to be the case. Having a lead online, caching a disconnect, and not being credited with the W is a straight bummer. Even in-game events are obsolete, terrible due to the server issues. Think I'm playing, okay, hold up, don't think so? Remember Park After Dark? <laughs> yeah, Future was out to mess up some servers, to say the least, okay? Like, that event was such a disaster, and they just could not get it right. Look, the 3v3 games took forever to start, the three-point shootout, the slam dunk contest. I mean, my goodness, the service should be a priority from the jump for any video game. But they still are having issues. Let's hope that more emphasis is being put into this area for the sake of online play. But for now, let's keep moving on. Next up is making their offensive gameplay even smoother than before. Now, in the beginning of the year, everyone was in love with 2k because we were able to branch and cancel out of animations with the slightest of ease if you can get creative with it you can get really flashy now since its release new animations and dribble combos have been put together to establish the dribble god standard online you know hop jumper cancels momentum crosses that kind of thing but the game of 2k has been very inconsistent this year i mean get this 11 patches 11 patches and a good portion of them have been gameplay related patching this and patching that it's been a constant process of learning and relearning the game but look if if 2k can get it right from the jump and listen to us the people the gamers playing the game putting money bread in your pocket will be good i'm saying i know 2k has their community day and all that but while that's going on they should really consider releasing a public beta for us to test out. Test it out, break the game, and for them to fix it prior to release. But fix it to the point where we can still enjoy the game's core. By all means, get rid of the exploits, but have it balanced offensively and defensively. Now, speaking of defensively, we're all aware of those animations that push and pull you around the court regardless of your controller settings, and that could be very, very frustrating. In fact, 2K is way too animation heavy at times, so how about putting more freedom in our hands and maybe allow us to dictate the end game results instead of those unwanted animations? I think at some point we've all as 2K gamers have sat down while playing the game and said, what? I didn't do that? What? What is 2K making me do? Like, yo, again, man, let's just hope for some improvements going down the line. Now, lastly, there's one more area I want to cover. 2K needs to change their rep system. The fact that some people get excited over gaining 0.4% rep, 0.5% rep is out of this world. 2K really takes grinding in their game to the next level, with ballers playing thousands of games, basically grinding for months to get a jetpack, maybe to become immortalized, whatever that may mean. Or like last year, to unlock a tiger to walk around with you. Now, respect to those that can get there with 2K's current rep system, but they just keep putting obstacles in our way every year to make it harder and harder. Regardless, 
those that enjoy basketball will still play the game. So how about making it more user friendly? Maybe have every single weekend double rep weekend. Maybe even more rep with the goal of assisting gamers that maybe work a nine to five during the week. Assist the gamers that have class five days a week that may not be able to play as much as they would like during the weekdays so they hop on the weekends. Or to just simply assist the gamers in general to hit their designated goals in game faster. I think that would be pretty dope if the gaming companies that we support so much turned around and showed us some more love. Speaking of love, did anyone manage to get those good old pink diamond Kevin Love My Team cards? <laughs> yeah, like, see what I mean? Like, okay, okay. I, I know those kind of cards are supposed to be limited, but from what I've heard, literally seconds after some My Team players entered the code for those pink diamonds, they had reached their limit. To me, that's crazy. And in my opinion, not really showing that love to all the My Team players. Now, there are some my team players that may never come across a pink diamond card this year. Maybe not even a diamond in general. And that could have been their day, man. Like, that's a straight bummer. But if you did get one, you basically hit the jackpot, apparently. <laughs> all in all, let's just have the game sway in the people's direction for once. Let's see how it would go. Let's see how it would go. Of course, monitor this, that, and the third, and different areas of the game. But give the people what we want we're the ones supporting you support us man show us some love and game you know what i mean get these things right get the animations right get the rep right <laughs> allow those my team cars to be just a little bit more attainable for the my team guys out there man show them some love for real man but look guys voice your opinion in the comment section below let me know if you agree let me know if you disagree let me know if there are some things i might have missed that you want to see improved on come nba 2k18 again more than likely they're in the alpha state of development so this is the time to get this stuff out man and, and try and make some change in a positive manner for our game also drop me a like let's try and get this video to 200 likes all my vibe city soldiers have been vibing out with your boy man rocking out i definitely love it loving the support digging the vibes and you guys are digging it too with these kind of videos so we're gonna get more content out like this again 200 likes also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but for now it's your boy music mind frame vibe city y'all know the deal make sure you keep it locked